I have to admit coming into this comparison that I considered the Honda Accord to be the benchmark in this class, but that was the previous generation of Accord. This new Accord has a lot going for it. There's a few things I'd like to see changed and we'll have to see how it does. The Accord is the third most expensive car in our comparison, with a starting price of just over $25,000. But as Zach said, it's got a lot to offer. Front and center styling. This has to be the most handsome Accord to date, with its big grille, chrome accents, and stylish rear quarters. It's the only car to get a perfect 10 on our safety and convenience challenge. It has all the things we were looking for, like standard tilt and telescopic steering, MP3 jack, height adjustable driver's seat, air conditioning, power windows, and even more safety features. Check out that list online. What we don't like, however, is the overly complex center console with too many buttons and the imposing center knob. What is held over from the old model is the base four-cylinder engine. It's the same 2.4-liter motor. It produces 177 horsepower, so it's got a lot of horsepower and 161 pound-feet of torque. The Accord is the only car in this comparison that if you want to spend the extra money, you can get a more powerful four-cylinder engine. Even though this new Accord is bigger than the outgoing model, it still has responsive handling and I'd put it on top of the list in this comparison. When you get in and out of all of the cars and you get into the Accord, you know right away it is the driver's car on the bunch. It's driver's oriented and that's personally what I like. We've said it before when we reviewed the Accord. Try the four cylinder and if you like it, don't even bother trying the V6. This car has more than enough get up and go for the average family. What put the Accord over the top in our 10-point list of features is the inclusion of traction and stability control, even on the base model, the only car to have both in this comparison. If the Malibu had stability control, it would have tied the Accord for a perfect score. What I like about the Accord is that it drives just like you'd expect a Honda to drive. It's smooth, quiet, responsive, and has just enough power. I have a feeling it's going to be pretty high on my list. Earlier on, we mentioned that the Honda Accord might just be the car to beat. We've done many comparison shows over the years. In the subcompact challenge, who won? The Honda Fit. In the compact challenge, who won? Honda Civic. In the minivan challenge, who won? The Honda Odyssey. The Accord is looking pretty tough.